Our guest on the program is the chairman of Airline Operators of Nigeria, Captain Norge Megason, who believes that certain policies must be put in place to create a win-win situation for all. First of all, uh, let me thank um, the president of Nigeria, uh, the president uh, Mohamed Buhari, for taking a second look to pause into the signing of the treaty that was supposed to take place um, on the 21st of this month. It was clear, uh, as I keep on saying, that if Nigeria had gone into it, um, the dangers will have far outweighed the advantage. It's not that we do not believe as a body, as AON, um, believe in the 2063 agenda for the African unity, but one of the pivots, as in the AFCFTA that was going to be signed, or the Open Sky, we believe that it was put in the cart before the horse. And that would have put Nigeria in a very disadvantaged position. Because before we sign treaties like that, and we signed a lot of treaties, we believe the technocrats, the investors, the entrepreneurs should be called into dialogue dissect the thing so that we position ourselves as a country and come out with a clear policy to say, how do we take advantage of the situation? But signing issues without looking at it properly, we end up putting us in a disadvantaged position that has put us many, many times in our country history. Today, Nigeria is supposed to be a global force. Anywhere you go, Nigeria, everybody will agree. It's supposed to be a force today in Africa, but sadly, because of a lot of treaties that have been signed or agreements or bilateral agreements that have been signed on behalf of Nigeria has put us in a very bad disadvantaged position. One of each in my industry today, we have over 600 unemployed pilots roaming the streets when Nigeria is exporting over three, four billion, three to four billion dollars of capital flight to foreign countries. Some countries today benefit and plan out of Nigeria. Um, it's sad that those countries feed out of, feed their passengers out of Nigeria. 40%, um, 45% of the airline's revenue are generated from Nigeria. The same airline generates 32% of their GDP in their country. And if you go to that, era, that country today, on the list of visa on arrival of 40 countries, it's sad that Nigeria is not even allowed or Nigerians transiting, going to the Eastern Bloc, are not allowed to transit into Ethiopia. Things like that should have been checked from the beginning when we're signing the bilateral trade agreement to make sure that if we give you the advantage to come into our country, we have the population, you have the aircraft, what are you going to give us in return? less trade on an even playing field so that we can be mutually benefiting and that will put Nigeria back to its position to be the giant that's expected to be both economically, population and strategically. Putting a swimming pool in your house is good but you must teach your children how to swim before you put the swimming pool. If not, the swimming pool end up being a hazard and would kill your children before they even start enjoying the swimming pool. So Nigeria, we must learn to swim and get ready to swim in that big pool before we start to sign those treaties so that we get our house and put our house in order. Then we join the pool. Of course, the Nigerians, as you know, are strong, determined, educated, restless, business and entrepreneurs. We will take advantage if we're given a level playing field to play.